Come on, referee. Get him over there. Where's Carlos Mata? Ooh, big booming right kick to the stomach. Oh, my. Good on him. Yes, indeed. Now. Watch it now. Fight Double fight. look on one man. Yes. Now the fight yes. going down. The fact now that John Tolis has become the manager of Steve Strong. I think that's great. John Tolis was one of the great wrestlers of all time. And Steve Strong is my buddy. Could you imagine if John Tolis gets Steve Strong and Armstrong together? Do you know what damage we could do? Do you know what damage we could do in this territory? We could destroy this whole group. We could destroy every wrestler in this territory. Take a good look. This is what you're supposed to look like. Not none of these fat come. I don't want to see anybody out of shape in this territory. Have you talked to John Tolles about possibly a teamwork? A team with you two? We take everything as it comes. First, I have a little thing I got to do, and that's take care of this Indian, Chief J. Strongbow Jr. He's been chasing me all over the country, and we're going to meet right here in California. When? You're going to ask me when, aren't you? But I'm not going to tell you when, because the promoter has to make it. Has to make this, makes the match, and then we'll be ready for the match. But wait until I get him. Then I may get banned from wrestling. Then what are you going to do? You're going to get banned from wrestling? You're telling me this? After on I finish with this man, I could get banned from wrestling. That's not fair. That's why I may want John Tolis in my corner to make sure they get treated the correct way. Clock up here, and they look like they are mad at each other. Armstrong's not giving him no slack. He's right on him. These two have had many battles. The victories are evenly divided. Armstrong even threw one, even threw one on Billy Anderson. Couple of nice chops there by the team. Those are those tomahawk chops. That's a patented chop. Armstrong with both days there. Nice knee lift. Nice knee lift there by the Chief. This could be a pinfall. What do you think, Ripper? I don't think so. Jack Armstrong's very... Been in regular matches. Well, at one time, this is the way most tag matches were. Why, why aren't they that way now? Well, there's a time factor involved, you know? And obviously, I guess the reason they're doing this is to try to settle this feud once and for all. These guys have been enemies for years. Well, let me tell you, the feud's gonna won't be settled till that fat Indian is put out of wrestling permanently. One of us is gonna do it. It's either gonna be Jack Armstrong or myself. But we are gonna end the career of this disgusting Indian, like he's tried to end our careers. I tell you this, uh, the Chief seems to be doing a pretty good number at keeping uh, Toro Tanaka and Jack Armstrong both at bay. Well, they're just warming up right now. Well, it's two out of three falls. California Championship Wrestling brings it back for you. We had a couple letters from people saying you got to have two out of three falls. You never see that again. You're seeing it here. This really will tell which team has the most stamina and who can uh, go two out of three falls. This match could go an hour. That's true. All of, of Toro Tanaka. The, uh, the feuds going around with the Strongbows of Tanaka for years. Jack seems to be doing a nice little number there on Billy Anderson. Whoa. Nice takedown. Nice takedown by Billy Anderson. Nice body slam. Another body slam. Billy Anderson seems to have come to life here. Whoa. Right on his neck. Right on his neck and chest on that one. That hurts, right? Well, Billy, still a young kid, got a lot to learn. He's taking advantage of well, the situation. He looks like he's doing a big number. To, uh, Tanaka did a lot of choking. That's that patented elbow smash that uh, Armstrong has. Off the ropes, both are down. Jack is up first. Beautiful elbow, elbow drop on him. Yeah, there we Flying go. elbow drop. Almost a pinfall. The action is hot here at California Championship Wrestling. The best professional wrestling in the world. Anderson trying to make a comeback. I don't think he's going to, though. Both men look a little groggy. Anderson, if he could, he should tag off now to the Chief. Nice flying drop kick. 
by Anderson on Jack Armstrong. Hair take up there. A little suplex action coming up here. Yeah. Nice suplex. That could be it. I don't know, Jack's awfully strong. Now, now I'm going to show you how great a man Jack Armstrong is. Who can survive? Oh, look at what's this. What's this disgusting Indian doing to this referee? Get your hands off that referee, you chief. Now, I don't see what I think happened there. Yeah, no, I, there, there now, I didn't, uh, what I think happened was they did something very illegal. Tanaka got into the ring and did something illegal. That's oh, the, come on. That's what the first happened fall. was. That's the first fall. The chief was bothering the ref. And, well, did you ever get that feeling when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and realize you're truly great and the whole rest of the world's a bunch of idiots? Well, that's the ripper feeling. Well, why do I have such a strong feeling right now? Well, because my good friend and sometimes tag team partner, the great Jack Armstrong, the great wild man of the ring, is here with me today. How's it going, Jack? You know, it's great to see you, Ripper. That's right. It's Jack. great. Look what my man gave me. Look what he That's gave me. This is my main man here. Use it my well. main man. That's right. I want to tell you something. You know what I know about That's a right. certain party here. First of all, they got no brains. No, you know, if they needed an IQ to get into professional wrestling, that we'd be the only two wrestlers around. That's right. You These guys have that? a minus IQ, pal. They aren't smart. About. They trip over their feet. They're out of shape. Look at this man. Take a good look. This is what a man's supposed to look like. Take a look. This is what you're supposed to look like. Not like no fat belly morons sitting at home drinking beer, looking at their ugly wives. That is terrible. It's disgusting. I, bl I don't blame them for coming to the matches. They're looking for something. Well, I, I want to talk about a disgusting Indian, too. I want to talk about a man who, he, he body slammed me in the cement. He pile drove me in the cement. He threw me upside down into a row of chairs. I got in the ring. I pinned his shoulders to that ring. And they took the title away from me after they raised my hand in victory, claiming that I hit him with a chain. Well, I did. Well, what difference does it make? What difference does it make anyway? I pinned him. But you're going to finish the job, pal. I'm going to do a job on the Indians. I'm going to be smoking and a poking and I ain't a joking. I'm going to master of disaster and I'm going to teach this man a lesson. I am going to teach him once and for all. I am going to teach the lesson that his father never taught him. First, I beat his father and I'll beat him too. He'll be back in his cigars selling cigars in his store. You know where. On the reservation. Right, smoking his pipes. Right. He's going to be smoking those peace pipes. That's we right. know a bunch of other drunken Indians, That's pal. All That's right. right. That's all he knows is smoke and drink. Smoke and drink. That's, That's right. All he knows he's a great athlete That's like us. Oh, it's uh, Jack Armstrong. Ah, and Jack the man Ar in the black tights is uh, oh. Jesse Hernandez. He, he missed it. He missed that elbow. He was trying for an elbow. Headbutt. Nice, right. Nice headbutt. Head head butt. Nice headbutt. Uh, I don't think damage. Jesse Hernandez thought it was too nice. Damage. Did some damage with that headbutt. Two elbows. Right to the back. Jack's going down on him there. Might be trying for a kidney shot. I don't know. That's pretty deadly. Pretty devastating. Trying to wear him down into on the, uh, the rough and tough CCW. Into the room. Sunset flip. I don't know. One, two. Oh. Got right out of there. Boy, oh boy, Mr. Armstrong, are you lucky? You almost got pinned. Jack Armstrong in the blue. But, oh, 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 he whoa. thought he was going to slam him. He's down. Three. No. That would have been an upset. That was definitely would have been an upset if that would have happened. Would have upset me. I wouldn't have believed that. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Yeah. Working on that uh, five. That's a white five. All the referee's got to do is start counting. He can stop that right away. Oh, because he's got his foot out the ropes. That's it. Put out the ropes. He has to start counting. The referee starts counting. That Jack Armstrong will stop. He's got to count of four. He's gets disqualified. Knee takedown. Knees. Knee drop. Now he's working on the side. Same, uh, right, working on the same side as Jack is working on him. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice one, nice one to the stomach. Jack Armstrong's got something in mind. Up for a slam, and he slams him. Uh-oh, what is this? Looks like it might be a figure four. No. I, it is a figure four. Leg lock, that's a figure Jack Armstrong wins another one. Figure four leg lock. I haven't seen that before. Uh, exactly. Yeah, right. Why well, watch wrestling matches from the East? You used to watch wrestling matches from uh, California. And super matches and great interviews and more action. And these guys... Hey, Professor Torres Tanaka is coming up. And they got to see Steve Strong. Jack's doing a big number on him here. 
Matt Tanaka was a big, big card in uh, New York. The guy was super, super big card. I mean, uh, he wrestled all over the track there. Here's another one. Well, be careful now. That's what they call four, four clothesline. Well, that was a clothesline to the chest. He's going to put out a real play. Yeah, he's going to put on the road. That. And uh, he did him in there. It's representative Gold's Gym, Miss Blade Star. Blaze Star, okay, I know a Blaze Star in Baltimore, but uh Yeah, she's, she's my training partner with Professor Tanaka. We train at Gold's Gym all the time. But that is not what we're here to discuss. We are here to discuss the intelligence of a certain person in this picture. All As right. you take a look right here, who is this man on the floor? That's the chief, Chief Jay Strongbow Jr. As you see he's not in the show today. The... Whoa, whoa. That was a, that was a uh... just let me tell you something. The chief won't be back, and neither will Rocco. The next time I get you, chump, I like to smash your head. All right, let's go up to the ring here. Let's go up to the ring right now. To the midsection, flips him over the top of reversal, and just like that, beautiful. Uh oh, look out! Little rocker by Billy, back and forth. The two rocking back and forth here. Both of them tried to get a quick press, but neither one gets in straight in the air. Punches to the. Top of the chest, sends it through the ropes and out, onto the floor, out the door and on the floor, and here comes Armstrong after him. Both men outside the ring, grabs him a chokehold, sends him into the chairs, and I do not like to see that kind of action outside the ring. They should get back in the squared circle, and there they go, back on in again, as he throws Mundo profusely right back into the ring, and look at the wild man, he's going crazy, he's going wild, belts him again, oh, tried to hit him with a... Leg kick, is he going to go for a Boston Crab or a spinning wheel here? Yeah, he tries to apply the pressure and get submission with a Boston Crab. He's got him up, leaning down, and Mundo Guerrero, how much can the man take? Mundo Guerrero, ah, oh, flipping a reversal and down, getting the pin. One, two, another flip, a flip-flop back and forth. One, two, he does it again. He sends it back. A row, row your boat time, folks. Gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. One, two, and he gets him back again. The referee, one, but not this time. He spins him around, sends him to the ring post. No, outside. Outside goes Armstrong, and this is what I do not like to see. The wrestling off that mat. Into the chairs goes Jack Armstrong. Armstrong into the chair, Mondo Guerrero with a chair, and we do not like to even descriptively give this match to you. But folks, just in the nick of time, back into the center of the ring. I like the action in the center ring, and I'm sure most of the people do. They come to the matches, great matches, all-star California championship matches. The referee talking to the ring announcer. I can tell by the indication what he's given. It's going to be a draw, folks. It's going to be a draw out there. Yes, sir. It looks like we got a draw. And, folks, you hang on. We're going to be right back very shortly with an excellent interview with Victor Rivera. Bounds, Jack, Wild Man, Art Strong. And he is accompanied in the ring by his manager, Getty. That's nice stop there by Armstrong. Put his knees into his uh, stomach. What were some of the movies that you were in that people might remember you by? Oh, my first picture, Barry. It's called Shanghai Jester back in 1941. That was a long time ago, and I made over 100 films. And you did a lot of movies with Frank Sinatra. I, I was on last week with Sinatra and Dean Martin, four for Texas. And uh, more people called me up and said, hey, I saw you in the picture last night. What do you play, a bad guy or a good guy in these movies? Well, I, either way, I play a bad guy or a good guy. But I was Frank Sinatra's uh, right-hand man, so I was a good guy. All right, let's go back up to the ring here. and uh, we're, we're missing a lot of the action here. Uh, Jack seems to be doing some damage. He got the bear hug on me. And I know what, because I suffered quite a bit. In fact, he broke one of my ribs. So when this guy gets a bear hug on him, I know. Right, he could definitely break somebody's ribs. Right, that's right. Now, if he throws him out of the ring, uh, I'll never get back here. That's what I'm thinking about, here. too. That's exactly what I'm thinking about. He's going to cut him out. He's going to cut him out. No, he's going to leave. Well, he got him out. He got him out. But he threw a haymaker on him. Uh, the whole crowd over there is scattering. They don't want him to fall on you. And he falls on you. That, that's like an avalanche, like a house in here. I know that. I know that. Whoa. Whoa. 
All right, the big, the big man just got hit in the head. It's complete mayhem over there. Armstrong is wearing him out with chairs. He hit him with a chair. He hit him two or three times with chairs. Armstrong even hit the referee. He hit the referee. He cold cocked the referee. Complete mayhem here. Armstrong is back in the ring. Armstrong is back in the ring. The heat is on. This is going to be a real, real contest because you're looking at two great wrestlers in there. Tony Rocco is uh, European style. Right, he's the heavyweight champ of Italy. Yes, and he's uh, and uh, he's contending, uh, contending with uh, Jack Armstrong. There's no pushover. That's right. The wild uh, man. And those those shoulder blocks. Watch him. Now he goes. Now he's going to flip him. Now watch him. Oh, see? And he's going to flip. He flips him again. There he goes. Armstrong is out of the ring. I don't think he wanted any part of that. No, he didn't like that. Right, right. He goes slopping around the ring here. Well, neither one of these fellas uh, make the slightest uh, mistake, and they're lost. You know what I mean? Right. they got to be very cautious and clever. See, now they're, they're, they're checking each other out. Oh, he's got a wrist lock on him now, hammer lock. That's a hammer lock, which is a very dangerous hole. Yep. And that's, he's pretty smart to break it because that hammer lock is usually a, a finishing hole. Maybe. Jack Armstrong in the blue trunks and uh, Tony Rocco in oh, the... Uh, he's got the oh, black oh, trunks. Oh. Nice body slam. He shouldn't have got the wrist lock from the, from the front. You see what I mean? That's why Armstrong was able to break out of it. Oh. Just hit him with a, in the throat. You know, hit him with the throat. Right, right. Knock the wind right out of him. With, with his thumb, see? Like the Oriental Spike. Yeah, that's true. Anton Leone, along with me, VR, here at the ringside at CCW. Oh, oh he's trying to, oh, my goodness, he's trying to get a sleeper hole on him. Oh. No, he's not choking him yet, but uh, he's, he's trying to get a sleeper hole is what he was trying to do. I say the slightest error that any of them makes is going to be their mishap and they're going to lose. Right. Yeah, because they're both... They're bro- Everything oh, has to be yeah. highly calculated. That's right. Oh. That Tony Rocco is a wonderful wrestler, you know. I remember when he came over. I, I used to see him wrestle over in Europe. But I wrestled in over 100 countries myself. Well, he's your gumbadi, right? I mean, uh... Well, he's not really my gumbadi. He's... Um, He's a real Italian. I'm an American and Italian, you know, and French, half French, half Italian. No, I thought you were all Italian. No. <laughs> Why? Huh? Whoa! Look at this! Whoa! No, close! No. Close! Close! I, I thought he had it. I thought Tony Rocco was going to beat Wild Man Jack Armstrong right the only, here. The only reason why he was, see, he, uh, in order to win with a hole like that, they got to be, uh, you got to be a little bit groggy, see? Otherwise, uh, like I say, they're both evenly matched. Oh! 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 Yeah. Armstrong seems to be in some serious pain. You can hear him all the way over here. Oh, sure. Oh, oh man, he's got a... Oh, that's, that's a bar hole. And, and oh, the very thing. That looks like a submission hole. If, he, if Armstrong can't see a... In wrestling, you should never remain uh, stagnant. In other words, you've got to move even an inch. will prevent the guy from getting what you call a hook hole on you. You know, they have a hook hole right at the end, see? So, you don't see many guys really come up with hook holes these no, days. No, well, no, that's right, because... That was a closed fist right yeah. to the stomach there. All right. Oop. Try to close oh. it. Missed it. Jack looks a little groggy there. He's actually hitting him with his open hand, though, see? Flying mare. Oh, flying mare. Oh, he hit him with the elbow right in his throat. And oh, now, now, now that could be like a sleeper choke. Yeah, now, it, well, it's not a choke, though, because it's not under the chin. See? But it could be a sleeper, see, Jack, right. uh, Barry? Although what, what he should do is instead of a uh, hole in his hand, he should make both fists and put some knuckles and dig into the guy's head. That's what I used to do. <laughs> All right, well, maybe you ought to tell him that. Well, <laughs> Give him some pointers, bro. You can't. 
you you know, in wrestling, uh, no matter how many years you've been wrestling, you go, oh, whoa. That was nice. That's that was nice. Backdrop. Backdrop. I thought he was going to rip his trunks right off. In there. He's in good shape, that Armstrong, because he he took it. He took it. Oh, there's a oh, there's going to be it. Oh, there's a, there's a head snap. Right. That's that's uh, that'll do the wonders for your ears. Make them oh. ring for hours. Oh sure. Oh, he's trying to pin him again. See, but it could be a submission. Yeah. No, see, he's not groggy enough. Close. Yeah. It's California Championship Wrestling. It's uh, Tony Arroco against Jack Armstrong. Ooh. Nice flying drop kick. Drop kick hit him right in the jaw, that one. Right. That guy's pretty tough, that Armstrong. As long as in, that will dislocate your jaw. Now he's pulled him outside uh -oh. the ring. Uh oh. And now they're going to go into it here. Yeah. Well. Now, where's the ref at this? Well, the refs go out there and, uh, and stop it. And stop it. Or. Whoa! Only get 20 seconds, see? No, it isn't over yet. He's got to get 20 counts. They got to get 20. Oh, counts. they got to get 20. Okay. Yeah, 20 counts, and but they're still working on it there. Well, if the referee is is counting. I don't know if he's up. Right, in fact, they're almost out of our light here. We can hardly yeah, see him. That's right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's they have qualified now. They're both fighting outside the ring, see? That's going to be a first one out. That was a pretty one. rugged bout. That's oh, a real rugged bout. Real rugged bout. But uh, unfortunately, uh, they disqualified. Somebody over there got a sign that says Armstrong number one. Yeah. Yeah. See? You see? Look, 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 look. Already, even uh, like a nut fool. Even like crazy. See? Well, one kiss, he goes crazy. I think, I, I think he's limbering up. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't even in up, all right. Well, he's he, he's going for oh, right away. Gee, 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 couple, gee. Four, couple of forearms to the chin there by Budokan. Light hip toss there. They look like they're boxing here, uh, Tanaka. Ah, uh, they play Teddy the Wings now. Oh, yeah. Hey. Couple of nice forearms in there by Budokan. Yeah. That was a nice one to the back there of uh, Jack Armstrong. Oh. He did a number on him in the throat right there. I think it was right in the Adam's apple. I don't know. I cannot see from the other side. Looks like a Buddha uh, retaliated there. Ah, that's a good arm reverse. Yeah, that's a good arm. You know, a lot of people think that this hole don't hurt. But this hole hurt your whole arm. <laughs> I, I, I bet it does. Oh, yeah. I, I know you've inflicted many pain on uh, people. Looks like Jack's uh, right shoulder is bleeding there for some reason. Oh, uh, maybe. Of course, of course, of course you know, that was very uh, unprofessional, unsportsmanlike yeah. when he stepped out of the ring. Uh, maybe he banged the pole, maybe. I don't know. Jack's doing a little struck yeah, there. Yeah, he banged the hole. He banged the hole in his arm, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's California Championship Wrestling. I'm Barry Richards along with Professor Tanaka. And in the ring is Buddha Khan and Jack Armstrong, a test of strength there. That is something Mr. Armstrong should never try to go against Mr. Buddha. Because Buddha Khan has got uh, too much uh, weight, and the uh, difference between weight uh, add the more power. Well, I don't know. Jack seems to be making a comeback here. Yeah, he better make a good, fast comeback. Otherwise, he must learn how to take advantage. Now, look at that. How did you call it? What would you call that when they just twisted around and they stayed in the same position, Taka? Huh? Well, you call that twinkle toes. <laughs> uh, so... Stepped right on his toes there. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Jack is out of the ring again. Jack Armstrong against Buddha Khan. The CCW's rolling. I don't know, Mr. Khan yelling all kinds of crazy things. So far, it looks like it's been pretty evenly matched here. So far, yes, yeah, so far. That was a nice one on the stomach there. Doubled him up pretty good. Yeah. A little, a little forearm there. Forearm elbow on him. That's the wild man Armstrong. That's an odd now choke. He's uh, choking, choke. choking, he didn't go at all. Uh, these two guys like to choke heads. <laughs> yeah. Well, you like to choke people too, right? Oh, uh, it's a matter of you. I don't do that thing. 
I never choke. You never choke, huh? Never. When I inside in, I do legal things. A couple of nice uh, forearms there. Okay, forearms okay. Nice uh, take down, reverse take down. Right, nice, nice reverse take down. That's a leg arm bar. Uh, double leg take down. He's trying to pull his hair there, Tanaka. Oh, pull in hair. That's illegal, pull hair. I don't do that. You never pull hair, huh? No, 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 no. No pull hair. Someone told me that you taught Chuck Norris uh, Kung Fu. Is that true? No, Chuck Norris, he learned from his own senses. I just, whatever he, he's a match, a uh, championship match, world match. 1962. This could be this could be a pinfall. Uh, yeah, it could be. Uh, hey, uh, almost, almost a count of two. Count of two. It's Budokan in the black and uh, Jack Armstrong. Um, a couple of nice belts there. That's a uh, headbutt. Oh, uh, that's him. the wrong thing to do. I think Budokan's head is harder than Jack Armstrong. Oh yes, much harder. Oh, Mr. Armstrong go crazy now. Right, I see that. The wild man is getting wild. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me know. Nice uh, hip toss there. This could be a pinfall here. One, two, not quite three. Budokan against Jack Armstrong. Yeah. The most rugged, rough matches around here on CCW. Professor Tanaka doing color with me. Professor injured himself in Hawaii. Yes, 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 yes. What's that hold called there, Professor? That's a hip rollover. That's a solo, solo rollover. Solo rollover. Yeah, solo rollover. Pretty evenly matched so far. Budokan's definitely uh, showing us something, a different side of him here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I tell you, when you get something like that coming towards you, it's very dangerous.